Hello everyone, welcome again. This is Frank DeMora with The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth where I connect the Bible prophecies with current events. And if this is the first time that you've come to my YouTube channel, I'd like to invite you to go over to my website, which is www.bibleprophecyman.com. And when you're there, you'll see the front and the back cover of my book. Please, do yourself a favor. If you want information proving that Jesus Christ is who he said he was, then please go to my website and you can download this information absolutely for free today. And it's current, up to date, as July 7th of 2011. Now here at my uh, YouTube channel and at my website and also on my international radio show that comes out of London, or out of Great Britain, I want to uh, take as much information as I can possibly get and give it to you so that you'll make uh, you'll have enough information before you to make an accurate assessment on these last days. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I know that we're in the last days based on the very specific prophecies that Jesus and in the Old Testament warned about that are actually happening in one single generation. All of these things are happening in one single generation and that was the key to understanding how close we are to seeing the second coming of Christ. Now I pray by the holy the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that what I'm doing will open not only your heart and your ears but your uh, give you wisdom about these last days as Jesus shows you what is happening to save you from the uh, wrath that's going to be poured out on an unbelieving world. Now I'm going to cover some prophecies today that I'm getting a lot of questions about and it has to do with 1st Thessalonians chapter uh, 5 I'm going to read this for you. Chapter 5 verse 1 and it says this, But of the times and seasons, brothers, you have no need that I write to you. Now here Paul is talking to the Jewish people. And when Paul is in reference to the times and the seasons, when he's talking to these people, they understand exactly what Paul is referring to. And he's talking about the times and the seasons that were appointed by God that they, the nation of Israel would have to observe. Those are the feasts that God established. You could find that in uh, the, uh, Leviticus in the Old Testament. So when Paul tells them, but at the times and the seasons, I don't have any need to write to you. We know that the, the times and the seasons that he's referring to, obviously, are these feasts. Now, on, on the first coming of Jesus Christ, he fulfilled the... Uh, first four of these feasts and I gave this in my video I believe a couple days ago I'll just show you the chart so you can you can look and you can get this chart for yourself but when Jesus came here the first time he completed the first four uh, Jewish festivals of the feasts all right and he's gonna do that when he comes back so when Paul was telling us here about the times in the season in the last days we are knowing that we're supposed to be looking for these festivals, these feasts, these Jewish feasts where these prophecies will be fulfilled. Let me continue on. It goes on to say this in verse 2. Now keep in mind, he's telling them up front, I don't need to write to you about the times and the seasons because you will know, all right? Now in verse 2, it says, For you yourselves know perfectly that that day of the Lord cometh as a thief in the night. So it's going to happen unaware to a lot of people. He says, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But you, brethren, are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. So one of the major points to Paul's warning when you take a look at the scripture there's actually two parts of this the first part is when they're talking peace and security 
and then that is already being fulfilled. We know that. Uh, we see it in the news on a daily basis. Somewhere in the world, every single day, there's articles and reports or even news broadcast about the peace uh, call in the Middle East between Israel and the Arab nations. And so these things are actually taking place. That part of Paul's warning has been fulfilled. The second part where Paul warns while they're doing this, sudden destruction will come. So take what Paul wrote to us under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit and ask yourself this. If God showed Paul that there was going to be destruction coming at a time where they're seeking to call or calling for this peace and safety, what would make you think that we would see uh, peace and safety? What would make you think that we would see a peace agreement actually uh, being established uh, when the word tells us why they're doing this there would be uh, sudden destruction that would come now we do know from the book of Revelation we do know from uh, chapters 2 and chapter 7 from the book of Daniel where God and Jesus Christ tells us that the Antichrist will come and establish a seven-year covenant between Israel and many nations. We read that, but this is going to uh, start the seven-year tribulation. And we know that the seven-year tribulation is going to be at the time where God pours out his wrath upon an unbelieving nation. But when in Paul, when he's referring to when they should call peace and safety, sudden destruction comes, that we know that that would be the exact opposite of what we see from the book of Revelation. Now the book of Revelation we see the, the covenant signed or confirmed as you'll read about it in Daniel chapter 9 that is going to be signed and then what happens? Well if you read the book of Revelation you know that the as soon as this conf, uh, confirmation or confirming of the covenant begins it looks like there's a time of peace and it looks like this man of sin, or this, who's actually the Antichrist, is going to uh, assume that, uh, obviously, the worldwide responsibility. And it's going to appear that he is the mis this marvelous Superman guy who's going to bring back the economy, make everything better. But then all hell will break loose. Whereas what we see in Thessalonians, we know that that wouldn't be the case because... Paul warned us under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit that destruction would come while they're talking the peace and safety. So there's a difference between what Paul is saying in 1 Thessalonians compared to what we're seeing from the book of Revelation. I wanted to make that point very clear. So going back into the New Testament now when we're dealing with the 1 Thessalonians, we know that there is definitely calls for peace and safety right now and we're going to see sudden destruction come and that sudden destruction in my study uh, and I've been through the Bible many times the sudden destruction I think is going to come it, you'll find it in Psalm 83 where the nations that border Israel will attack Israel and I believe that that will happen because no peace agreement will be established. There's going to be problems. And as you've been seeing from my post and in my YouTube videos and also at my international radio show and video show at the Edge, uh, you'll see that uh, they're working towards this September to form a Palestinian state. And this is what I really want to address today and uh, get, in, in, get in depth to show you some of the recent events for the call for peace and safety and where we're headed. Now I do have a few articles that are brand new reports that just came out but I don't have enough time right now to cover all those in this video so what I'm gonna do is ask you that uh, if you would just scroll down if you're at my website just scroll down and it will be right there and I will label this uh, part one for July uh, 14th of 2011 uh, fulfilling prophecy so if you're at my YouTube channel uh, just please go to my website 
uh, just click right on and you'll you'll see the videos there plus the articles and the links now you could help my ministry grow I'm being blessed uh, the book the last chronicles of planet earth is making its way uh, around the world slowly but surely as people are able to read the book for free and uh, it is definitely a blessing recently I've had uh, uh, many of my books land up in Kenya and in Sudan and now they're on their way into Uganda uh, in Rwanda so and they've they've made their way in Australia New Zealand and the Philippines and Canada I mean, just countless numbers where the Lord is putting this book in the people's hands so that they would understand that what he wrote is actually taking place. God is gracious. God is good. And he wants to save as many people who will believe in him. And so this is a vehicle where you will see the evidence, the proof, and the documentation that what he has worn is definitely taking place. Now, my last thing before we scroll down into the next video. I just put up a brand new show today at my international radio show at the Edge called The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth. It's marked for the 14th of July, 2011. Now, in that radio show, which I just did and we just put it up, there's a comprehensive look at the curse of God. And what I've done is shown you that the, uh, the curse of the Lord is real, and anyone who tries to divide Israel up, or even burdens themselves over Jerusalem, as it says in Zechariah 12.3, that God sends a curse on the people, the nations, uh, who actually go after Israel to try to either divide them, come against Jerusalem, or come against the Jewish nation, or curse them. And so... I recommend that you go to my website today and you will see the my post there that says the edge gives you the information uh, and then you click the link and you go right to my edge show now the show is 95 minutes long I took all day yesterday to compile all of the information that I had and put it in one video form so that people will be able to understand the evidence of God's curse and how important it is not to go the other direction or flow upstream if you will against God's Word it's a lot better than just to get in the boat and flow with the Holy Spirit and God knowing that you're doing exactly and going exactly where God wants to take you but there are events that are taking place uh, a lot of the cases on the very day that somebody comes against Israel, these disasters will take place, sometimes within a few days, sometimes within a week, but it happens. And so we're gonna, I'm going to touch about this in my next video as well, but please go to my website uh, for that July 14th, click on the link to the Edge Show, and watch it. One of the reasons why I did this is so that there's a lot of people who don't want to uh, read, they don't like to read, but they're willing to listen and to watch. This is why I'm taking the extra time uh, to make these videos so that you will be uh, more inclined to sit down and to listen and to watch and have the Holy Spirit uh, get in touch with you that way. So please go ahead, take the opportunity to listen to what the Lord is showing you. He loves you. This is why he's bringing it to you. And the thing about it is, the Lord is giving it to you for free. You will never find me asking for a dime here. This is a free ministry, and uh, this information you can have today in your hands by clicking to my link. Thank you very much.